Welcome guys and hello to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something that curly girls do not do. The one thing that we always tell ourselves to never do, which is to brush our hair. When it's like this. I've never done this before. My hair may go frizzy, may do nothing. To help it out a little bit, I'm going to be putting a bit of um, the Tresemme Kerif Smooth spray. Just, just so that it make it a little bit easier to brush through. Just a little bit. But while I'm doing the unthinkable, I'll just you know give you a bit of an update of where I am at the moment. So, I did get um, a reply say about um, how much money I'm getting for my maintenance loan for uni. I'm not very happy by about it. I'm not very happy about it. Uh, I do feel like I need a little bit more than what they're giving me. Um, but what can you do? Not much really. I may call them up and be like, yo, I need more. But can I be asked? Probably not. So let's get to it. Thing is, right, I won't lie to you, I've made this channel, I don't know what I'm going to be doing on this channel still. So you can see I'm doing this, so obviously I haven't thought of what I'm doing on this channel. Um, I'm a bit scared though to do this. Look what I'm doing for you guys. Look what I'm doing for you. No girl does this. We don't do this. This is suicide. <laughs> Thing is, right, won't lie to you, yes, our hair feels so smooth and it feels really nice. But just <sighs> too big, too big. Don't brush out curls. Loads of people are like, oh, why do you never brush out your curls? And every curly haired person, like, we know, we're just there like, you do not brush your curls out. That's the one thing you do not do with frizzy hair. Brush out your curls, because then it goes all big and puffy. And we don't want it to be all big and puffy. Because we don't. It's just a bit uncontrollable when it's all big and puffy. Um, but I'm doing it today, because I thought, why not? Got nothing else to do, nothing better, I don't have a job. Yep. Great. Um but yeah. Fun times. When I was younger I used to find it really difficult to sort out my hair. And it I had to go through a lot of pain to understand how to sort out my hair in the long run and honestly even though there are some awful years I'm so glad I went through that because otherwise I wouldn't have the hair I have today it would be all cut off so but yeah the brush goes through it all nicely which is good I had a bath today in case anyone was wondering otherwise I was never going to get this brush through my hair there you go how do I look? Putting my part in. I always do my part in like this. Yeah, I don't like this at all. It's all big, it's all puffy. Um, got hair everywhere on my bed now. Just messed it all up. Um, to be honest with you, hair is really difficult, especially for people like me. Our kind of hair, it's just, it gets messy, it gets everywhere. I wash mine about once a week, which to some of you, you'll be like, once a week? 
flipping ick. Um, but for my kind of hair, it's actually the best way of doing it because if you wash it too much, it dries out a lot and then it just breaks. If you don't wash it enough, then you know, dandruff, too many curls, you're not brushing it, it's just not very good. Um, but once a week, sometimes twice a week, it's best. It's really, it's best for my hair. Um, and I'm happy with that. Go with that. Uh, I brush it three times a week. Um, so even though I'm not washing my hair, I do try to brush it um, in the shower and stuff like that, just a little bit, even if it's just the ends. Making sure that everything's, you know, untangled. Great. Other than that, I've got nothing else to say. I really need to start planning these. I may do something else. If there's something more after this, then I have thought of something. But if there's not, then this is it. So we'll find out, won't we? Bit of an update. I'm actually kind of loving this hair like this. I was not expecting it. Yeah. But I feel like I'm just badass. Like I just put on these sunglasses. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Just feel kind of badass with them. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I still wouldn't go out with my hair this big. I just wouldn't. But it's starting to grow on me. I'm starting to like it a little more. I may just keep it like this rather than putting it up. Oh, will I? We'll see. So I've ended up like proper liking this hair look with the outfit and everything and um, I was not expecting it. I may actually go out like this. Uh, but yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I, I never expected like making my hair go out like this to give me some confidence, but I've actually got loads of confidence now. I'm just like, oh, like bitch, try and mess with me. Try and mess with me. I like how messy this mirror is though, like whoops but yeah I, I like this confidence I've just all of a sudden got because my hair is really big uh, I was not expecting it I'm feeling my feeling my feeling myself I'm feeling myself <laughs> I'm on it with your name on it got a bed oh with your name on it ooh Hey you guys, thanks for watching. Please give me a like, comment, subscribe. I don't really care which one you do. Just, you know, all of them. That'd be best. Um, but thanks for watching. You didn't have to watch. I know it was quite a long video today and it was all just a lot of bull. Because, uh, let's be honest, I was just brushing my hair. Either way, it was fun, like, kind of bringing you on this mental journey. Because I was not expecting to have all of a sudden that much confidence. Like, I really wasn't. Um, I was expecting to maybe be a little bit more timid going outside and more self-conscious because that's what I'm usually like but today I was just there like babes I'm looking fine so yeah it was interesting it was interesting a bit of a shout out to my favorite fan out there John Jenkins love you babes all right bye guys see you next week